Hey what's up guys, Thonaz. After my completion of Pantheon this week, I want to share with you the weapons I highly suggest that you and your team use, along with some tips that will help make sure that you get the best damage phases. First off, the modifiers for this week are Surges for Solar and Stasis, which are a 25% damage increase to your weapons and abilities. And similar to last week, there's a new modifier called Shot Collar, which gives you a damage resist and gives your weapons a free 20% damage increase for 15 seconds, that stacks weather buffs and debuffs, and getting more precision hits will refresh the timer. For Golgoroth, my team used Whisper of Worm, which is pretty good for an easy 2 phase. I would also recommend using a linear fusion rifle, like Cataclysmic, or even a Sleeper Simulant would be great for this boss. For Caretaker, your team can run a Gallant Horn and Apex Rockets with Bait and Switch, and it'll be optimal to run that with the Izanagi Rotation and DPS Supers. But my team used Edge Transits, although it didn't match the Surges for this week, it was still great for damage and good on ammo economy compared to the Rockets. Also, it's more likely for someone to blow themselves up using Rockets, since everyone is so close together for damage, so I found Grenade Launchers to be the safer option. A quick tip in this encounter is that when you and your team are waiting to do damage, you can proc Shot Caller early by shooting Caretaker in the head, even while he's immune, or you can shoot the B things that fly around, which count as precision damage. Later, once I got to the planet's encounter, I realized that Cry Muni existed, and surprisingly, it's extremely good to use this week, and I highly recommend it if you want to use a grenade launcher. Make sure to use Demolitionist in the left column and Vorpal Weapon in the right. The 10% damage increase from Vorpal, plus the 25% Solar Surge, will make it a better option to use rather than Edge Transit, because Bane Switch is a 30% damage increase. And of course, it's a grenade launcher, so it's great for your ammo economy. But yes, of course, an Apex Rocket with Bane Switch is also a great option. As for Atrex, the only weapon you should be using for high burst DPS is the Parasite and with the DPS Super. When you have a times 20 charge shot, the 25% Solar Surge makes it even better. Side note, Atrex may have a bug with the Platinum Score Triumph, but I'm not too sure if that's true for everyone, so let me know in the comments if you're having the same problem. Okay, lastly on the Oryx, which is definitely the easiest encounter in my opinion, especially when you use a Whisper of the Worm. My team used this and it was an easy two phase and was great for taking down the Tormentor and Yellow Bar Knights. But that's all I have for today, I wanted to make this video to share what weapons I was successful with and some tips to help you all out. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit the like button, your support and engagement means so much to me and also consider subscribing if you want to see more Destiny 2 content.